So we are about to do the last stage of our stage strip. But before we do that, we need to once again go over the dog and just pull off the long stuff that, that you can see easily. And even if the coat is starting to break through, just start taking a hair or two along the way to get us to, so that we have uh, a rolling coat. Now we're going to sort of gently work on the two spots that we started the whole thing with. We pulled out a little spot at the base of the neck. We pulled out a spot in the just behind the shoulder. That has got about a 10 day jump on the rest of the coat. So it's looking a little bit longer than everything else. We want to begin to blend. Just work through the whole area and just pull some hair out. Not a lot just start to do your blending. Your blending is done over a period of time, it's not all done at once. Once again, I want to tell you that, in, as in this video, you need to keep your wrist very, very straight. When you bend your wrist as you're pulling, you're turning the blade on the knife. That blade is then going to start to cut. You can actually hear it, um, the difference. If you just take your knife and pull a little bit, uh, and then turn it and pull it a little bit. You'll hear a difference in that knife. You'll begin to recognize the difference between pulling and cutting. There is a real important thing here. You cannot cut hair.
You're going to want to trim the back of the tail as tight as you can, all the way from the base to the tip of the tail, but not the exact tip. The tip you have to work at, but don't strip it bald because it takes a long, long time to come back. We're going to go over the legs and feet and face once again in the next video. And we're also going to cover what we've already done and have a diagram as to how it proceeded.